going on everybody and welcome to the channel today we are checking out the global drones spider x or the venom it is a foldable 720p wi-fi fpv with a built-in dvr and one key to take off and land rc quadcopter ready to fly so let's open up the box and check it out all right so i got everything out of the box and as you can see from the box i do have the green 720p wa wi-fi version there's also the white version as well now taking a look at the quadcopter it is a pretty tiny looking quadcopter in its folded state but once you fold them out it does become a little bit more significant in size as you can see there's the arms in the back it's higher up than the arms in the front so it allows room to be folded in and there is a on and off button push button on and off switch right on the side of the quadcopter so you can turn it on and off once you install the battery and here we have the tilt adjustable 720p wi-fi fpv camera it is a manual tilt adjustable camera i'm going to leave mine straight up looks like it's got a pretty decent lens and also if you look at the front motor pod there is a little protrusion and that serves as the landing leg so when it lands it will land on the battery itself there's no protrusion coming off of the back so here's the battery it is a 3.7 volt 520 milliamp size battery supposed to be good for about eight to ten minutes so once you put this in here in the back it'll click into place and if you want to remove it just press down on that little clip and you are able to remove it like so so it is a pretty strong attachment there and there's a little protrusion coming out of the battery itself and that serves as the third leg so when you land it will land on the battery and the two front protrusions of the arm so it's a pretty low standing quadcopter on the floor the camera is almost touching the ground but it does land itself pretty well let me do it on the table here yeah see it does pretty well so taking another look closer at the quadcopter here the motors are embedded into the arm so they're side loaded motors here with the gears and we got the foldable props as well and in the back there is a dvr so you are able to place a micro sd card in here and take photos and videos and record it onto the dvr i just have a four gigabyte micro sd card inserted right now all right so that is just about it for the quadcopter so let's go ahead and take a look at what else we get in the box here we got a bag of goodies containing looks like a full set of props a screwdriver and a usb to micro usb cable for charging up the battery and the battery itself is really nice because it does have a chargeable port right here micro usb charge port and it does light up i believe it lights up in blue while it's charging and the light turns off once it is fully charged and this battery is fully charged and ready to go so we'll leave it right here now we also get a phone clip and the remote control the remote control has a uh, empty spot on the top and all you do is just push the phone clip into it place and you are able to put a phone for your Wi-Fi FPV pleasure and I was able to put my iPhone 6 plus on here and it fits it pretty good and it holds it pretty well all right so let's take a look at the remote control while we're here here we have the one key to take off and one key to land as well as the emergency stop long pressing of it is the emergency stop uh, here is the camera and the video button short press it to take a photo long press it to take a video now I tried the camera on this thing and it does not take a photo so if you want to take a photo you're going to have to use the wi-fi phone app icon to take a photo but long pressing of it will take a video and it will record onto the micro sd card as well as the wi-fi phone app uh, power switch on the bottom uh, headless mode one key return speed changing button here one two three speeds and here we have the flip button all of these buttons over here are for trim purposes all right so both sticks to the bottom and to the left will calibrate the gyros of this quadcopter so if you want to arm the motors there is no sequence to arm the motors you just have to press this one key to take off and it will automatically 
take off and also we got the instruction booklet as well one in English and one in Chinese and if you look inside of the instruction booklet it tells you everything you need to know about the function of the remote control and how to go about flying and most importantly the QR codes to download the Wi-Fi phone app and the phone app is called the global drone app free downloadable app in the app store so go ahead and check it out all right so that is just about it so let's go for a little demo flight with the global drones spider x the venom all right here we go with the demo flight global drones spider x the venom so let's go ahead and power it up pressing the on and off power button here and we've got some led light action we got some clear leds in the front arms red leds on the rear arms and that is just about all of the led lights let's place it right here turning on the power to the remote control and up and down on the throttle will bind the quad cutter to the remote control all right so we are good to go here now both sticks to the bottom and left will calibrate the gyros there we go lights are flashing rapidly and they have turned solid so we are good to go just about but first let's go ahead and start the phone app here let's go into the settings go into the Wi-Fi section of your settings and check it out I'm getting connected from a previous connection it is called the GDHD 720p Wi-Fi network and I am already connected and there is the app itself it is called the global drone let's go ahead and hit it and there we go so there's some interfaces here we got the play button instruction and setting so what you want to first do is go into the settings and make sure you got the altitude hold turned on because if you don't have the altitude hold turned on you will not be able to fly it with the wi-fi phone app we got the 720p preview turned on as well and parameters auto save turned on all right now let's go ahead and hit play and if you need instruction you can go into the instruction sec section of the phone app so as you can see we've got the one key to take off one key to land and all the virtual sticks are displayed we'll turn that off we're just gonna go and fly it with wi-fi fpv so here we go let's go ahead and take a photo and like i said you are not able to record photos with the hard remote so short pressing it it does turn the light on and off and it does ha uh, something does happen on the phone app let me do that again looks like we did take a photo because the phone app is turned on all right so let's go ahead and make our rounds and take some photos with the phone app this time so i can see where i'm pointing at here so there you go there you go taking a photo taking a photo there taking a photo there yeah I guess I tested it out without the phone app turned on so it didn't take a photo but it did record a video so with the hard remote solo you are able to take videos only and if you have the Wi-Fi phone app turned on as well then you are able to take photos as well all right so taking some photos there so let's go ahead and hit the photo button and long press it and there you go we got a counter going on here on the phone app so we know we are taking a video and let me go ahead and stop it and make sure there you go it stops all right let me go ahead and hit the icon on the phone app as well and it does the same thing so we are taking a video so I'm going to go ahead and leave my iPad on the table and let's go ahead and check out the quad cutter itself. All right, so we are good to go. So there is no sequence to arm the motors and manually take off. You will have to use the one key to take off. So let's go ahead and hit this button here and automatic take off. There you go. That is the altitude that it comes to and it comes to a hover, but it does not have any kind of stabilization so it will drift with the light breeze that we are having and look at that we have no breeze at all so it doesn't have like an optical flow sensor of any kind let's go ahead and bring it back right above the landing pad here and so far it is doing pretty good there is a little bit of a delay 
let me go ahead and show you look at that so there is a little bit of a lag when I let go look at that so there is an interference going on right off the bat with the hard remote and the Wi-Fi phone app probably so let's go ahead and hit the one key to land here and redirect this path while it's coming down on its descent and oh really I missed the large landing pad all right so let's go ahead and place it back on the landing pad here and take off one more time one key to take off nice pretty decent yeah